Hello. For those of you who don't know me, I'm June Ransom. I'm based in the Wellington region, which is the capital city of New Zealand, and operates throughout New Zealand. And we have a global outreach. I'm a licensed immigration advisor, and my license was issued to me by the New Zealand government. And I specialise in all types of New Zealand immigration, apart from refugee law. Each week, I update New Zealand employers, migrants in New Zealand, and those of you who are sadly trapped offshore. Well, yes, our borders are still closed, except for those who are returning New Zealand residents and citizens, partners of New Zealand residents and citizens, and those of you who have and are able to claim a compelling and compassionate humanitarian reason for being here. It's challenging. Now for employers, if you seek key skilled foreign nationals for your projects, do check out if they meet the essential worker criteria or other critical workers pathway. Now for the other critical workers pathway, an exception must be gained from the New Zealand government by applying for an approval in principle. You need solid justification for the individual to take up the position in New Zealand. And one of the questions they're going to be asking you is, well, what are you doing without this person now? Why do you need them? Anyway, the next stage is to gain a travel exemption for your chosen migrant and looking at having work right conditions. Now, once you're through this, your migrant has to organise the travel to New Zealand. You need to be organising the mandatory managed quarantining for 14 days on arrival. And the New Zealand government is responsible for having this facility available. And the employer is required to meet the costs. Now, on meeting all of the above, we've got issues. And that comes down to the availability of facilities for quarantining because the space is short at the moment and the government is looking for other alternatives. There was even talk today of bringing in a cruise ship. Now, we were told this week that several international airlines are refusing to bring in New Zealand residents and citizens unless they know that traveller, travellers have the managed... Um, quarantining facility available on arrival. Now there's been new announcements this week. And for you new New Zealand employers, what does this mean to you? Your employees who have been uh, on temporary visas expiring 25 September, because the, the government extended them out, they will get an automatic renewal of six months. But this does not apply to any dependents of the principal applicant who must apply separately and be charged the full price for the new visa. Now, this will work out as the most expensive visa in the world. This is totally discriminatory as the dependents are part of the family group. And it is, in fact, breaking up the family unit. Not only that, the visa is only issued for six months as it can't be issued longer than the principal applicant. And it makes you think, has the government actually thought this through? Now, at present, we have a government department, Immigration New Zealand, and they can't cope with the volumes of applications already lodged. And they tell us that they're not going to employ more staff. So we rightly question, how will they have time to process all these family visas? Now, if you're a visa holder earning less than $25.50 an hour, when you come to get another visa, you're only going to be granted six months. Our temporary visa time limits are being linked to the hourly rate of gross pay before tax. Now, this change has been brought about as the government is anxious to ensure New Zealand residents and citizens are able to get employment before migrants. We know employers need skilled migrants but it will only be those who are on the highest salaries that will have a future in this country. Now, investors and entrepreneurs, 
Look, there are great opportunities. This is an attractive country and we do need you to help in our recovery. So look, let us know how we can help you. We at Woven International are a great team of knowledgeable skilled people with high values. So talk to us about what you would like to achieve with your relocation to New Zealand. So until next week, keep safe and healthy and thank you for listening. I'm June Ransom, the CEO of Woven International. Bye for now.